Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to NewYorkTimes.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. This is the New York Times Sienna poll. We have not used the Sienna poll in a long, long time. This poll was conducted October 24th to November 2nd. If the 2024 presidential election were held today, who would you vote for if the candidates were Kamala Harris, who has way too much makeup and Photoshop done to her face in this picture, or Donald Trump, who is a good-looking individual and a felon to top it all off? Let's fill in that election map according to the Siena New York Times poll. As always, we have the blue states are blue for Kamala Harris, states that she's probably going to win with a landslide. Washington, Oregon, California, Colorado, New Mexico, Hawaii, Minnesota, most of Nebraska, Illinois, Virginia, New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and the District of Washington, D.C. with Maine District 1 and Maine at large being won by Kamala Harris. That gives her 226 electoral votes. The red states are states that Donald J. Trump is going to win in a landslide. And as always, they are Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and the second district of Maine. Greg, Greg, your breath is really warm on my arm. We have the battleground slash swing states. They are Nevada with six electoral votes, Arizona with 11 electoral votes, Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes, Michigan with 15 electoral votes, Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes, North Carolina with 16 electoral votes, and Georgia with 16 electoral votes. A 32 spread between North Carolina and Georgia could top the election in anyone's favor, but Pennsylvania is the one that every candidate needs in order to win this election. It is their one pathway to victory. According to the Siena poll, Nevada has Trump at 46% of the vote and Kamala Harris at 49% of the vote, making Nevada and its six electoral votes blue for Kamala Harris. Arizona, according to the Siena vote, with 11 electoral votes, Arizona has Kamala Harris at 45% of the vote to Donald J. Trump's 49, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump. They are neck and neck, and she has a two-vote lead right now with two states filled in. Wisconsin, according to the Siena vote, Trump has 47% of the vote to Kamala Harris's 49%, making Wisconsin blue for Kamala Harris. Michigan with 15 electoral votes. According to the Siena vote, both candidates have 47%. It is a tie. Michigan will not be colored in. Georgia with 16 electoral votes. According to Siena poll, Georgia has Trump at 47% to Kamala Harris's 48%, making Georgia blue for Kamala Harris. North Carolina with 16 electoral votes. According to the Siena poll, has Trump at 46%. To Kamala Harris is 48%, making North Carolina blue Boo. for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, the big daddy of them all, the caucus raucous, with 48% of the vote and 48% of the vote, the 19 electoral votes go to nobody. It is a toss-up tie. Kamala Harris has 274 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 230, making Kamala Harris the big winner of the election in a landslide. I am so confused right now because Georgia and North Carolina have been heavy Trump for a month and a half. He was there in the states when the hurricanes were going on. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris was having a raffle, a fundraiser with Demi Lovato and all the other celebrities for five days before they ever helped with the hurricane. People of Georgia and North Carolina, open your brains. Insert knowledge. That woman does not care about you. 
I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Timothy Walls. Vote for Trump. <laughs>